The tourists who flock to Venice normally come to see the most famous sites. But there are quieter corners where you will find Venetians displaying centuries-old handicrafts. Some of the small shops around the Calle delle Bateghe house genuine treasures. Damask and hand-printed fabrics. Or unusual accessories made of costly hand-woven scraps. The Rubelli weavers keep an archive of historical fabrics. They date back to the golden age of silk weaving in 16th century Venice. The Luigi Bevilacqua weavers give some idea of what it must have looked like back then. They work at 300-year-old pedal-driven looms. The exclusive velvets can only be achieved by hand at the rate of about 30 centimeters a day. They are sent all over the world, gracing interiors from the White House to the Kremlin in Moscow. And fashion designers turn them into haute couture. The women here are weaving red silk velvet to be used in the restoration of the Royal Palace in Dresden. What's known as Sopra Rizzo velvet was invented here in Venice. It's made up of several layers of fabric to create a relief-like effect and at the same time with changing colors. Another hidden treasure is the Palazzo Fortuni, now a museum in what was the private residence of Spanish textile artist and Art Nouveau painter Mariano Fortuni from 1892. He also developed new photography techniques and designed stage sets, having 50 inventions patented, including printing processes that remain a trade secret to this day. Mariano Fortuny gained fame for his process for producing a sheer plissé. His wife Henriette used it in the early 20th century to create the iconic Delphos gown. The production was done on cylindrical rollers that not only gave the fabric its vertical plissé pleats, but also its horizontal crimping. That lends the dress even greater allure. Only a few steps further on is the La Fenice Opera, one of the world's finest opera houses. It took several years of work to repair the damage caused by a major fire in 1996. The gold-plated decoration in the Rococo Theatre Hall is true to the original. Even the exquisite curtain is a perfect copy of the original. It was recreated by the Biagiotti Fashion House and donated to the opera to the delight of tourists and Venetians alike. <laughs> 